Uh huh. Waiting for Necros Prime. Necros Prime is going to be worth the uh, at least two forma maybe, but he's going to be worth it. He's going to be worth the catalyst. I mean reactor in that case. He's going to be worth the reactor. He's going to be worth the forma because he's a prime Warframe. Meanwhile, I've never put any forma into regular Necros, and I feel happy about that because regular Necros is just going to get thrown away. So what you see here, everyone, this is uh, this is my completely not extensive mod collection. It's actually a lot smaller than you would think. There are many mods that I just don't have. There are many that I will never have because I don't care. And there are many that I'll never have because they're simply, like, mathematically impossible to get. We're talking, like, 0.01% chance of ever seeing from a mob that only shows up, like, 5% of the time. So you literally have, like, a 1 in 4,000 chance of seeing it in your life. It's, it's really ridiculous. So what are we doing here? Well... Today, I want to give everyone a little bit of a lesson. Endo, in, in some ways, mostly in regards to the new player experience, was a giant nerf. It's really sad. See this here? This mod? I used to be able, and I, I kid you not, I used to be able to make a full rank 10 from this right here alone. Because to make a rank 10, it only took 1,023 of these. So this, this is basically a full rank and then some. A rank in about 40%. Anyone want to test how much it takes to, uh, how much endo it takes to get this to rank 10? How much endo does it take to get this to rank 10? 10,230. 10 1,230. Alright? So, 10,000. Okay? To boil down into endo this entire stack, this entire stack, 8,610. So, from 10,230, we get 8,610. So, this used to make a full rank and a half now makes not even 80%. Well, maybe 81%. I'm not busting out the calculator for this. Does anyone see the, the problem here? What used to make 1.5 does not even make 0 0.8 anymore. That is nearly a 50% decrease in efficiency in the fusion system. That's a huge nerf. Everything has been nerfed by 50%. No one wants to admit it, but Endo was a giant nerf. This is the proof right here. This used to make 1.5, now it makes 0.8. It's about a 43% nerf in efficiency. Uh, the math is easily done with a mod that, uh, a mod that's very common and one that most new players really need because it helps them a lot and that would be if I can find it I don't have these by um now I do wonder how many duplicates I have of this but really okay I know I got to have more duplicates than that come on this is a little insane really Oh, there it is. It's pretty high up there. Okay, pressure point. You used to only need 32 of these to make a max one. You only used to need 32. How much does it take now? Can't be that much, right? 310. Alright, 310 endo. How much does this entire pile boil down into? 1,000. 1,500. So that's pretty good. Except there's a ton of them so it doesn't really mean much, but what used to be is that you only needed about 30 of these to make a full one. Now you need about 62 to make a full one. Also, how much endo does it convert to directly? No, not that. Let's do a 65, just, you know, for the sake of it. 325. How much did it take again? 325? No, don't want that. So, 65 of those will give you barely enough to rank this up. You'll, you'll have 15 left over. 
15 endo left over from 65 pressure points to make one, when it used to only take 30. That's consistent with this. That's consistent with about 50% decrease in efficiency. About 50% decrease in efficiency. It's really sad. Um, also, one thing if we're going to talk about something being absolutely ridiculous. Let's go by name while I'm doing this. While I'm going over this one, I'm just go by name and uh, sort it out by... Uh, we're going to use an example here. We can go down to serration. Okay, everyone, so if you want to see something absolutely freaking ridiculous, completely idiotic, let's see how much this takes. Because the other one took about 10,000 to 10,230 ish. How much does this take to get to rank 10? 20,460. 20,000. 500 plus a million credits, which for new players, that's a big deal. For me, it's not. For new players, it's a big deal. And I, I feel their pain, because I was a new player once too, and this is not fair to them. Alright, so it takes 20,500 to make this rank 10. How much does this boil down to? 85. 20,450, right? That is it, right? 460, even higher. 20,460. 20,460. To make this rank 10, what do you get? 85. 85. 85. Okay, can, we, can we reinforce this? 20,085. 20,085. This is completely unfair. New players deserve to be able to boil down mods with a much, 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 much better efficiency than that. Something a little higher than 0.02%. 80% into 8,000, 16,000, 20,000. It's about like 0.008%, isn't it? So something around there. It's... Uh, it's minute, it's immeasurable. You would need 85, at least 3,000 times over. Like, like 2,800 times over, about. To, to make that. That's, that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Anyway. So here comes the big moment. We're going to sort it by duplicates. And I'm going to go through. And we're going to make each one of these mods down to at least 25. 25, maybe 30. It's going to be a long process. We're going to be boiling down... I have, I have 22,752 duplicates with a conclave rating, which is silly, I don't know why it's still here. A conclave rating of 175,684. Totaling, you know, total mods 23,304. So let's get to work. Let's go ahead and get to work. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's select all these. I need 30 from there. No, I said 1,030. 0, 30. And just uh, get this party on the road. Let's get 840 from here. 843, why not? Lightning Rod. 626. Gonna keep it at 20 to 25 depending on the mod. This will only like, you know, 20 of, why not? Just in case you want to give some away, just in case you want to sell some, I know we'll be picking them up as we go. It's 530, why not? I'm just gonna keep this up until the entire collection is gone. Some of these aren't gonna be exact because, you know, I don't, I don't really care that much because I know I'm gonna pick up more anyway so that that's not too big of a concern just trying to do uh, you know rough estimates just to get these out of the way because we have a long way to go everyone we have a a long way to go to get all this endo it's gonna take a long time I'm, I'm keeping more rares than not I mean co uncommons and rares than not 
because their nature they're likely to either go away or sell for more or something asinine later down the road what is this 290 disruptor 275 but look at this endo build up look at that build up it's crazy we're at 44,000 now that's enough for uh, one prime mod one rank 10 prime mod you see this system is good for me because I have these already I have these through two years of playing I have all of these set up it's really sad that new players who don't have this don't get to do this they don't experience this part they only experience the other part where they need at least four times as much as they did to get a little bit squeezed out of the system new players are kinda of boned right now They're, this system is not treating them very nice and I don't like that I don't appreciate that I think new players should be given a better time this system's kinda of screwing them over it's not good it's not nice see I get to use all this stuff I get to have all this stuff because I played so long the prime vault rips off new players this system is kinda of screwing new players a little bit if I started playing this game now I wouldn't have continued if I was a new player right now I would have been like no this is all stupid I'm not gonna do it it's only because I already have everything that I don't need to care but I still do I choose to still care you know why because it matters to me because right now if someone came up to me and was like hey I wanna play Warframe I've never played it but I wanna get into it I'd have to tell them no don't do it don't do it it's not worth it the grind is insane the RNG is ridiculous for me freaking relics were a great thing because I had a bunch of keys new players who have to sit around farming relics it's not fun and I wouldn't want them to sit through that just to be able to have a chance at getting items that are you know no longer important that are freaking locked away it's ridiculous everything except like Excal Prime maybe should be available in game one way or another except the cosmetics those can be plat only because those don't actually affect game play look at this 67,000 endo that's pretty great only need 13 melee prowess why not Oh yeah, heavy impact, all those stalker kills. All those stalker kills that just aren't adding up to anything. Freaking garbage. Absolute waste of time killing the stalker. I only need one blueprint from him, and it's just never coming. So many mods. How many have I selected so far? 13,000... 375 mods. Whoa. Whoa, wowza. That's... It's pretty nuts. We're gonna keep a bit more Furies than we need to. All these stance mods that otherwise would be going into into transmuting and transmuting has only awarded me absolute trash I've never gotten anything good out of it I've seen people get good stuff but I, I personally have never gotten anything good out of it I've seen people transmute for primed mods no not that I've seen people transmute for primed mods and got a common they got infiltrator which is a common rank 5 mod No, uh, don't need that many. I need 115 from here, I think. I have a lot of exactly 140s. Strange. Well, not only two. Whatever. But these are breaking down into, like, very niche groups right here. What do we need here? About, like, 112? Yeah, it works. Whatever. 112. No, not, not 122. 112. Point blank. 112. No, again. Of 
Wow. I think this is enough for two primed mods, if I'm not mistaken. Right? I think that's enough for two. Can't quite remember. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut back to like 105 by now. Takes a lot of work to boil down 15,639 mods. Whoa, this adds up quick. Okay, we're going straight to the 100s now. And soon we'll be uh, in less than one. Oh, very soon we'll be less than 100. Just take away 75 of those. 75 of those. And wash, rinse, repeat. Wow, we're going even even less. This is like 70 now. No, not that. No, we need less than that now. Going 60. But they're still adding up. 101,000 endo from this. Wow, 55 already. Power throw, we're not going to take that many because it's a gold mod. So we're going to take like 35 away from that. Let's do, uh, I'm still doing 50 now. Always got to keep a little bit of a surplus just in case. Alright, now we're going to 44. Always keep a surplus in case you get a friend who's new to the game or something and you want to give them some stuff. Let's go down to 42 now. I think, right? Yeah, 42 seems right. And now we're just going to go to 40. And uh, pretty soon we're just going to stop. Pretty soon we're just going to not be doing any more. Which is, you know, that's fine. We're at like nearly 18,000 selected mods right now. Okay. 33. And we're getting down into the 20s range now. Guardian's actually a really good mod. Uh, it's a nice one to give away to people who need it. This really puts into perspective like how rare certain mods are. Like, This is supposed to be a common mod, but I have only 49 of them versus hundreds of others that are supposed to be rare. Actually, we're going to keep more of that. Same reason as last time. It's a, it's a rarer mod, so we want to keep more of them. And this one, too. Rarish mod, so keep more of that one. Not burn down that many. Now we're going straight into the 20s. And soon we'll be going to like 18. I only have 42 Hornet Strikes. Like, and that's, that's a very essential mod, actually. It's a very important mod, especially for new players. And I only have 42 of those. It's crazy. I wonder how long it took me to get my first one. I probably didn't have one for a very long time. Even though it's so damn important. It's only get rid of like... 9 of these now, yeah. We're going to keep those, because it's a rare mod. Keep those. You know, essential... Well, the shotgun's not that essential, but like... Primary damage mods. The fact that they're so rare, it takes so much to get them. Alright, let's start dissolving 7 now. We're not doing Sundering Strike. We're going to keep Flow for now. We're going to keep Pathogen around Sinking Town. We're, we've done it. We've, we've gotten into the 25, 20-ish range. All right. 111,000 Endo and 25. Or I can get 5 million credits. 
Uh, all these mods, everything I've ever ma collected, 5 million credits. I can totally get 5 million credits. That's worth it. 5 million credits, totally worth it. That's, it's, that's worth it. New players, don't fall for that. Don't sell your mods for credits. Never do that. It's stupid. Alright, give me all this endo. I don't even know how long this process took. It was a very big process. Alright. Ooh, that rating dropped. But not by that much. Only about 100,000. I still have... 4,874 duplicates. And... Also, this is a little messed up. So let's reset it. The most I have are of these. So the the most duplicates I have are 44, and I have 4,800 of them. So, so I, I must have a couple thousand mods, like different mods in my collection, totaling to yeah around that, like 900 something, 980 something mods. So now I have 187,000 endo. Well, what am I gonna do with that? Well. I don't know. I can finally fully upgrade primed fast hands. Do I want to? Certainly not. <laughs> don't want to at all. Not for that. Primed point blank, maybe? Point blank's very important, especially for shotguns. Could throw that on Tiger's Prime. 40,000. Well, 41,000 out of 187,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Ravage. Ravage is good for some shotguns. Some. Heavy Trauma is good for some. But yeah, so these are, uh... Hmm. Apparently Baiting Link is considered one of the, uh, the rarest mods. No, it's not. Of course it's not. But yeah, those are all the, uh, the primed ones up at the front. And then all the gold ones. Wow. It's, uh, it's blurry. Give me a headache. We. So I can choose to max out four of these. Would I be left with enough for a fifth? 41, 82, 12.3. No, I wouldn't be left with enough for a fifth. All right, well, I can choose any four of these mods that I want from that to upgrade to maximum. And you know what? I'm not gonna. I think the soonest one that I might upgrade to max is gonna be a Prime Morphic Transformer, in all honesty. Heavy Trauma is a close contender. Point Blank, it's really high up there. It's really high up there. Sooner than Primed Fury. Primed Fury is actually really bad. I only wanted it for Galatine Prime. It's the only weapon it's good for, really. It's really bad mod. It's still outdone by Berserker in like every single instance. Pistol ammo and mutation. And then the Bane mods, which, while good, I, uh, I don't see myself ever investing resources into one, ever, especially for just rifle. Like if this was useful on like anything, then I might, but certainly not just rifle. Certainly never just rifle. They, these would need to be for for all three slots, certainly. Alright everyone, so that sums up everything that I wanted to talk about in the new endo fusion changey baity system let's go to rank is that what I usually yeah, I usually keep it at rank rank 20 mod 140 endo 85 endo well, these are rank 10 but you know like 20 drain mod which is one of the highest, what is the highest drain mod? Can I sort by drain here? I cannot. Oh well. So there we go. What's the highest rated mod? Ammo drum? 
Ammo drum is not the highest rated mod. Is it? It's crazy. How are these the least rating? That makes no sense. Price. Price of what? <laughs> Damaged ammo drum. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm going to keep these at name. Alright, good luck everyone. Hope, uh... Yeah, I never do corpus bust this guy. Whoever Bob TM is. I never... I think I did the corpus bust for, uh... For one. For the... The catalyst, I think. I just don't care for that mission. First one was like 75,000 credits. I'm like, who cares? Alright, everyone. Later.